Let's solve this equation using U substitution. So we got uh, x squared minus x squared minus 26 times x squared minus x plus 120 equals 0. Now our first step. Let the variable part of the middle be u. Variable part of the first be u squared. So we're going to rewrite this as u squared minus 26u plus 120 equal to 0. Step 2, solve for u. Well, this is the PST method. We got u squared, u, no u, no number in front of the u squared. Take the number at the end, ignoring the signs. So we got 120, and we're going to create our three columns. 1 times 120, write down all products, give us 120. 2 times 60, 3 times 40, 4 times 30, 5 times uh, something, uh, 24. 6 times 20, 7, no, 8 times um, 15. 9, um, don't think so. 10 times 12. I think that's it. Uh, the S column, we add those together. 1 plus 120 is 121. 2 plus 60 is 62. 43, 34, 29, 26, uh, 23, 22. Difference column, we subtract smaller from larger. 120 minus 1 is 119. 60 minus 2 is 58. 40 minus 3 is 37. 30 minus 4 is 26. 24 minus 5 is 19. 20 minus 6 is 14. Uh, 15 minus 8 is 7. 12 minus uh, 10 is 2. Number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which is 26. We've got two 26s. The one that we want to use, since our sign at the end here is positive, we want to use the one with the same signs. So we want to use 6 and 20. So put 6 there, 20 there. Our larger number in the P column that we're using, which is the 20, is always going to be the same size as the middle term, which in this case is negative. The number I circled is in the S column. S for same signs, both positive, both negative. Since this 20 is negative, then a 6 has to be negative. Now, zero factor property. You got zero on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to zero. So I set u minus 6 equal to zero and u minus 20 equal to zero. And we solve it. And we get u is equal to 6 and u is equal to 20. Now, step three plug u equals blank back in and solve for x. Well, in this problem, we said u is equal to x squared minus x. So we'll put that back in. So we've got x squared minus x equals 6 and x squared minus x is equal to 20. Well, these are quadratic, so I want to get everything over one side, 0 on the other. So I'll take 6 over, and we've got x squared minus x minus 6 equal to 0. And on this one, we'll take the 20 over and become the negative 20. Well, these are PSD method. So uh, let's look at the first one. I'm going to take the number at the end, the 6. What the reason why they're PSD is because we've got x squared, x, no x, no number in front of the x squared. So take a look at our first one. Take the number at the end, which is 6, and we create our three columns. We ignore the sign. We list all the products, give us 6. we got 1 times 6, 2 times 3. Add them. 1 plus 6 is 7. 2 plus 3 is 5. Subtract them. Smaller from larger. 6 minus 1 is 5. 3 minus 2 is 1. Number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which is the invisible one. So we're going to use 2 and 3. So I got x, x, 2, and 3. Now our larger number in the P column that we're using, which is 3, is always going to be the same size as the middle term, which in this case was negative. Number of circles in the difference column, D for different signs. One will be positive, one will be negative. Since the 3 is negative, then the 2 will be positive. Okay, now let's do this other one. Um, number at the end is 20. It's PSD again. We're going to write down all products give us 20. We've got 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. Add them. 1 plus 20 is 21, 12, 9. 
subtract them, smaller from larger. 20 minus 1 is 19, 10 minus 2 is 8, 5 minus 4 is 1. Number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which is 1, which means we're going to use 4 and 5. Now our larger number in the P column that we're using, which is 5, is always going to be the same size as the middle term, which in this case is negative. Number we circle is in the difference column, D for different signs, means 1 will be positive, 1 will be negative. Since the 5 is negative, then the 4 has to be positive. Okay, zero factor property. We got 0 on one side, we factored the other side, so we'll set each factor equal to 0. So I'll set x plus 2 equal to 0. I'll set x minus 3 equal to 0. I'll set x plus 4 equal to 0. And I'll set x minus 5 equal to 0 and solve these. So take 2 over and we get x equals negative 2. Take the negative 3 over and we get positive 3. Take the 4 over and get a negative 4. And take the negative 5 over and we become a positive 5. So those will be our four answers.